this setup is <laughs> terrible for... Okay, let's do Sonic 2 again as Knuckles because... God hates me, I think. Hey, yo! It's Knuckles the kid, no. He's not supposed to be here. Let's go again. Because OBS loves to kill me. You once saw a man complete Sonic 1 in 10 seconds. How? <laughs> Fucking hell. How do you manage that? Sniffs. No oh, balls. I once saw a man to go to the bathroom and he never came out. It's true. The man was me. I didn't do it in 10 seconds. It was more like... 20. It was more like... You know... Since playing Radical Rex... I've got this itch... To play more... Mega CD games. And that's good, because I got plenty. I've got plenty of them. There's a bunch of Mega CD games I've never played that I would like to play, so that's a good opportunity. And we'll also... Play some favourites and some ones that I know would be fun to show off. Just because of how <laughs> strange they are. There were some strange games on the Mega CD. Like... It's... It's, it's, it's equivalent to like... Indie game stuff. To how weird it is. And I can't wait to show them off. <laughs> I don't know what even a Mega CD is! Tiny history lesson time! The Mega CD was a... a hardware add-on to the Mega Drive. And depending on which model you had, you could either slot it in top or slot it to the side. And it allowed you to play CD games using the Mega Drive. It was revolutionary! It really was. There was only one other company that did CD games at the time. And that was NEC. But NEC was only in Japan. So the Mega CD was the first time that the West saw anything like that. Um, it was pretty cool though. I did like the the model one. <laughs> they called it the Tower of Power. The model one Mega Drive with the Mega CD and 32X add-on all installed was a humongous machine. Giant. And they called it the Tower of Power. Just simply because of how ridiculous it was. Oh, it was great. Oh, my ass! Oh, my ass again! Stop! I can only take so much. Stop. I think this run is over. <laughs> I think this run is over. Yep, sure is. I fail. 
The Archie comic pic you sent using the stream was on Blue Sky. Jump scared you! <laughs> Why? <laughs> he's just out, he's only out to save his friends. Also, uh, not a not many people know this, but the 32X, it was made. Um, people just assumed that it was another add-on to play games with, but the 32X actually had um, another function that not a lot of people uh, know about or even tried to compare to. The 32X, if you plugged in a Mega Drive cartridge, so let's say Dynamite Heidi as an example, the 32X would expand its color ratio. So let's say, I actually don't know what the number is, but let's say the Mega Drive and the cartridge was able to output 16,000 colors. The 32X would allow you to, say, double that, and the color range would be a lot more smoother and bolder. And a lot of people don't know that. So if you played, um... <laughs> so yeah, it's a, it was a, a very interesting piece of hardware, and uh, I don't think any... As far as I know, I don't think any emulation software has managed to recreate that kind of thing. Like, I don't think there's, like, a tab where you can click and say, I'd like the 32X color range, please. It was really cool. <laughs> Uncle looks scary. Human nooks. <clears throat> I like how perfect his posture is in that picture. <laughs> Okay, so your idea is to merge all the holidays. Your brain is too small to understand these consoles. <laughs> small brain! Whoa. It's to stop companies profiting on holidays. I mean, they won't stop profiting from Valentini Weenie or whatever it is you called it, but it's a good effort. Min mitigate the ass. Mitigate the ass. I liked I liked early Sega. They were really interesting. They were so interested in experimentation. They didn't give a flip. But because of that behavior, it really didn't do well for them in Profits. Because not a lot of people... <laughs> uh, investors, I mean. The, 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 the consumer didn't give a crap. If there was something they wanted, they'd just buy it, you know? It doesn't really matter. But investors didn't trust them, because it was like, listen, <laughs> the profit margin says you spent twice the normal budget creating an add-on that plays CD games. This wasn't even planned in the business proposal. What the hell's going on over there? Well, you know, we thought it was cool. Right. And what else do you think is going to be cool next time you do something without our consent? Uh, I don't know, money. And then they made the 32X, and lots of companies were like, okay. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> you clearly... You clearly have a way of doing things that we, <laughs> we just can't... We just can't gel with. And then they made the Saturn, which was another hit to the market. It's like, yeah, it's very impressive, but what the fuck? <laughs> but then people... Yeah, people say uh, they, they try to bring it back with the Dreamcast, and it's like, are you kidding? The Dreamcast was the most innovative thing they've ever made. It had online capability, its controller support was near impossible to beat at the time. Whoop. Its virtual... Its uh, VMU was like the, uh, the precursor to... console to handheld interaction. There was a add-on for the Samba de Amigo game, which was essentially the Wii. Like, the Wii sensor. So, 
you know, Nintendo <laughs> weren't the first people to do that shit at all. Um, they had that, uh, when they released the first, um, when, uh, fuck, what, I forgot what it's called, that's embarrassing. Um, yeah, Fantasy Star Online. When Fantasy Star Online came out first on the Dreamcast, that was the first MMO to ever come to console. And because of that, they offered up, like, a free membership for a year of online play, because they knew that having online back then was hella expensive. Not to mention, they also included mouse and keyboard support, so it was just... <laughs> they just... They just kept going. Sega didn't give a flip, which is probably why the Dreamcast didn't last long. They just kept... They just kept going. Sega ran out of money, and they were like, we had a good run, guys. I love early Sega. Definitely my favorite part of the industry. They just didn't... They threw everything at the wall, and they did not give a damn about the expense. They just did it. They thought it was a cool idea, and they did it. They didn't give a flip. But it did almost kill them, so I can't recommend... <laughs> I can't recommend it as a business model. Because they, they did almost nuke themselves. They were very close to... being gone forever and then being absorbed by Microsoft. Because that's what they wanted! Another piece of history lesson. Um... When Sega announced bankruptcy in... 2001, uh, Microsoft at the time, uh, unpublicly, were ready to absorb. They wanted, they wanted what they had, they wanted those assets. They wanted that Sonic, they wanted that Skies of Arcadia, they wanted that... They, they, they wanted that... Puyo. They wanted all of that. But, um, just before any kind of acquisition was ever made, the then president of Sega, the one that ran the Dreamcast campaign, donated his entire stock into keeping the company alive and then founded uh, Sega Sammy as a... as a stock firm so that it doesn't go bankrupt ever again. And it's weird as well because shortly after he did that, he died. Like, his last, his last big contribution to the game industry was making sure that Sega didn't die. And then he died himself. It was like a month after. He was very sick, I think. I forget what with, but... It's, uh, it's kind of romantic, in a way. Almost like poetry. But uh, Microsoft was still, they were still hungry for Sega, so they made a deal. They made a deal with the Sega Ops because they backed out of the console market immediately. They just wanted to be third party. And because of that, there was a lot of hardware acquisition up for grabs. A lot of research R&D within the firm that could now be attained by anybody with the cash. And that's exactly what Microsoft did. They said, hey, the blueprints for the Dreamcast, can we have them? And they were like, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. We don't need it anymore. And they used that blueprint to create the first Xbox. It uses the same... Uh, the Xbox uses the same... Uh, what you call it? Firmware. It uses the same firmware as the Dreamcast. Exactly the same, one-to-one. -one. To the point where Microsoft were even willing, they never went through with it, which is sad, but they were even willing to make Dreamcast games backwards compatible with the original Xbox. And I think that would have been fucking mint. Microsoft sent a hit squad on the dude that's ruining their chances. 
So not only did they uh, attain the uh, fuck, <laughs> not only did they attain the hardware rights of the Dreamcast, they uh, also made a big fat hairy deal with Sega to make a bunch of not exclusives, but a bunch of them were exclusives. But not all of them were exclusives. A lot of Sega first to Xbox before anybody else and a bunch of exclusives. I think 11 games were planned and I think eight of them were exclusives. Um, they wanted, Microsoft wanted all of the next Sonic games to be Xbox and Sega were just like, come on. <laughs> we can't- listen, I know you really want this, but we can't do that. We can't- we can't- We have to- we have to have our best-selling franchise on everything, otherwise, what's the point? And they were like, oh, okay. How about everything else, then? And they were like, okay. <laughs> okay. So, all their new Sonics came out on everything else, whilst all the exclusive stuff came out on Xbox first. Oh, this is ass. You know, forget it. Screw the Chaos Emeralds, I screwed it. We'll get the Chaos Emeralds another time. It's not like we'll get zero opportunity to do it again. There's been much talk about Xbox... Uh, um, ...these past few days, too. Yeah, they're, um, they're teasing something. Xbox are... Uh, they're teasing something. They want... They want everybody to know that they've got something up their sleeve, but... They're not telling us what, and they want us to stay tuned. They're going to do a, uh... What's their version of State of Play? I forget what it is, but... Whatever that is. They want us to stay tuned. Remember when Microsoft offered to buy Nintendo and they just laughed? Ho <laughs> Funny American... Beep, 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 beep. Let's get the flip out of here. I think it's more, more professional than a direct. Like an investors meeting. Is that so? I've heard wrong. But, uh... Yeah, to, to round up my points. Early Sega was amazing. No one will ever be like them. Um, to the point... Where even the big fat competitors were just licking at their lap, wanting anything to do with them. Uh, you've seen some people outright say Microsoft is going to leave the console market. Pfft. What the fuck? <laughs> no, they wouldn't. <laughs> it makes a. Hmm, actually. Wait. I was about to say, they make so much money, but... I don't know if this is true, this might just be my brain making shit up again. But I swear I heard something about it's not making as much money as they used to. And... I don't know. Might have something to do with these blue worms. No idea what this is based on. Seems a bit radical. Radical! Radical Pep. Even though you could see Xbox Xbox good shows dying out sooner rather than later. I've also heard whispers that Microsoft are planning to release all of their exclusives on Sony platforms. They've been rising in popularity at this rate. It doesn't make sense why they would quit the console market now. Something in between, you think? But yeah, it's not closed doors, but it isn't like a direct. Okay. Well, I'm interested. Fuck! The wor- It's that- It's always this worm. Worm, worm, worm. Hacking worms. You really don't know what's going on 
but I've seen a lot of screaming about the Xbox Microsoft. Uh, I'm sure you'll find what's actually going on whenever the news comes out. Absolutely. I'm interested. Um, you know, one of the big three, as they say. Even though I don't see it as that at all. <laughs> they say the big three when uh, some third-party companies make more money than Sony do. So, I'm sure they just mean the console manufacturers. <laughs> the big three, I think that's so funny. <laughs> These are the big three! It's like, yeah, but Sony makes no fucking money. <laughs> Capcom makes more money than Sony. You know, it's the le it's a least planned on releasing Starfield exclusively to Xbox. I'm sure all five fans of that game will be really happy about that. So when so them releasing more the 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 Peace Five is believable. That's believable. It's believable for sure. Let's get the roid. Remember the KFC console? I do. I thought it was funny. Do you remember the KFC hotel? I don't know if the KFC hotel is still going, but there was a KFC hotel and in each room there was a designated chicken button. <laughs> I'm not kidding. There was a designated chicken button that you could press whenever you wanted some KFC brought to your room. <laughs> I kind of hope that the chicken button made like a, a chicken noise when you push the button. You push it and it goes <laughs> No, not enough rangs! Did that actually ever come out? Nah. It was only concept. It, they, was, they never actually made it. I wonder how much the blueprints would be worth. Let's start a Kickstarter campaign so I can buy the, blue, the blueprints of the KFC console and make it myself. Oh, one more thing about Classic Sega that I need to get out there because no one mentions it and it makes my, uh... It makes my blood boil a bit because it's like, how... How can you know this, but not the other? Like, it would be attached everywhere. You know how everyone says, Oh, PlayStation started out as, you know, holding out their hand to Nintendo when Nintendo said no? Fucking... They went to Sega first. They went to Sega because they saw them making that CD stuff and they were like, Hey, this is cool. Wanna team up? And they were like, no. And then they went to Nintendo and they were like, no. <laughs> I mean, it's a slight, it's a, it's a very slight deviation from the narrative. Like, the Nintendo part is actually correct. Oh, they didn't say no, but they, they did cancel it, clearly. Because present time and uh, yeah no but nobody mentions the Sega bits it's like of course they, they went to them first because they saw that they had the technology and they were like this is flipping cool we should team up and do cool things together it lasted to this day source Whoa! No! Oh, yes! Oh, a day! 
Oh, I beg your pardon. <laughs> to this day, it lasts to this day. I like the idea that they, the the, the deal never got cancelled. <laughs> it never saw fruition, but they never cancelled it, so the deal is still going. <laughs> but everyone just forgot about it. <laughs> I can believe that. Companies have done worse things. It lasted a day. Interesting that it lasted a day, and they managed to build a prototype. I'd like to learn more. Remember when that prototype came out on eBay and everyone bought it and then it turned out to be fake? <laughs> Good fake though. <laughs> Hands down, like... Amazing... Amazing hoax. <laughs> oh my god, it surfaced on eBay and someone bought it for $55,000! And it's actually... <laughs> it's not real. Oh boy. I love people. There is a prototype though. The one that was bought on eBay was fake, but there is a prototype. And I don't think it's for sale anywhere. I think it's just, you know, it exists. Likelihood there was talks behind the scenes before the deal was struck. Whoa. Hence the prototype. Well, I'm not going to pretend to know how Sony does business. Especially after reading that big book of Sony bullshit. Did you know Sony is actually really f evil? <laughs> And has been since their incarnation? That's pretty much the whole book. <laughs> it was a good book. <laughs> You're trying to get work done while watching. Almost impossible. Almost impossible, Pep. Radical Pep. Real cool, real cool, real cool, Radical Pep. Radical Pep. Do Nintendo still do love hotels? Maybe not officially, but... Maybe under the table they do? Question mark? I'm not radical. <laughs> Real cool, mild pep. Oh, it doesn't work. Radical. We need a three-syllable word. We need a three-syllable word for mild. I thought about mediocre, but that's four. Hmm. Mario themed love hotel room. Wahoo! <laughs> that's that's terrifying. I hate that. <laughs> yes, I'd like the Donkey Kong suite. Okay. Oh, banana. Okay, enough. Painting of Browser watches you. And it plays the Bowser laugh from <laughs> 64. <laughs> I'm sure someone's into that. I'm sure there's a market for that. Though... I know nothing about that industry and I don't want to know. Ding ding ding, the last time rolled. Ding 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 ding.
<laughs> so long, gay Bowser. <laughs> uh. Oh, damn, this was actually on the topic of Sega again. Not classic Sega, this is modern news. Uh, I know, twisting things up. I do like to keep things fresh. Um, I only read the article for a bit, and I have it saved in my bookmarks, but I swear the article was talking about revamping their arcades. They were, um... Because to those who don't know, they... Sega closed up all of their classic arcade buildings quite a while ago, and it was... A lot of people were super sad because they were like, oh, like these were ama these were really cool hangout joints for you know people, and they got super sad because it's like, well, shit, we can't can't go to these places again. But it looks like that they are planning on reopening arcades again, but in a new way. I need to read the arc. I need read to read the article because it's um. I only skimmed through it, because I was just like, oh, neat, I was doing something else. I was like, I'll read about that later. You can now become Super Knuckle! We can now become Pink Nugget. Yes! That was weird. <laughs> Woo true. Uh, tr true if news. <laughs> Great news if true. <laughs> true if news. Welcome to if news if true. Oh, that's a lot of flies! Speaking of nuggets, you got nugget news? Oh, damn it. Woohoo! Oh, are you kidding me? Damn it, Knuckles, why are you so... <laughs> I was gonna say fat, but he's not... <laughs> not fat at all. I suppose I'll have to go down. Time to nugget. Shit. <laughs> Fuck that up. No, we we need we we need a yes. Thank you. No. This is not as smooth as I want it to be. No. Okay, everyone pretend I did that flawlessly. Korea are airing show about a father trying to save his daughter after she turns into a nugget. <laughs> when you say nugget, do you mean like a chicken nugget? Like a tiny nugget? Or do you mean like she's... Just like a clo a glob of meat now. What what are you talking about? Yeah, a, ch a chicken nugget. Okay, good. It's coming out on Netflix. <laughs> I'm interested. That sounds wild. It's better than the show I saw a few days ago. I'm not gonna talk about it either because it really annoyed me. <laughs> it just made me angry. I was like, who? 
Who watches this and how is it on its fourth season? Whoa, Knuckles. Bear. Can always rely on Pep to prove or disprove anything you say. Whoa! Fuck flip. You've been watching a funny mystery solving show called The Proof Is Out There and rewatching some Sonic Prime. Cool! I think I've heard about The Proof Is Out There. That sounds familiar. Gonna. <laughs> <laughs> uh, spring locked. Don't give me Eggman. Good. Jesus. Sonic Prime. Whoa. Do -do 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 -do. Oh my lord. <laughs> spring lock. Oh my god. No way. Ooh. Where's the where's the Freddy where's the Freddy Fazbear's mod for the so classic Sonic games where you're running through you're running through the game as Freddy Fazbear and Eggman is turned into purple guy where's that game and all the badniks have been reskinned to be different uh, animatronics where's that game internet I'm giving you free ideas every day what the hell. Shatterverse Eggman in Prime makes me incredibly giddy. I can't help but imagine that's the Eggman. Ooh. Oh no! Oh, I thought I was gonna get crushed. That's what the Eggman relatives look like. The Egg Fam. Hashtag Egg Fam. See if I managed to get Pep to roll with me on some bullshit jokes, you'd find it's so much harder to determine whether it's real or not. I don't think that's true, I think I'd just ignore everything you say for a time. Kind of like how everyone does for me. <laughs> just worth Pep. <laughs> The Venn diagram between Sonic fans and FNAF fans is a circle. <laughs> oh. oh my lord. I've only ever seen two Eggman families. Canonically. Everything in Sonic is canon. I'm still astonished both by siblings bought your lie about Knuckles hand spikes law. <laughs> I love that. I Oh, that's some good. <laughs> 
work. Speaking of peppermint lore, uh, there's a YouTube channel on the internet, I don't know if you've heard of him, but he's called Ordinary Sausage. And uh, his shtick is that he makes sausages out of anything. But he started a mini-series where he just makes weird food. The end, you know, just makes weird food. Like, he puts weird food combinations together. And sometimes it works, you know, to his credit, sometimes he discovers amazing combinations. But he released one last night. <laughs> and he, uh, he... He boiled a steak in a cauldron of melted peppermint candies. <laughs> and it's one of the grossest videos I think I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it fucking looked vile. It <laughs> it looked worse. The the oh, I don't want to talk about it. It's just <laughs> But we've never seen his parents. Eggman's parents? That's true. Eggdad. I wonder what that channel's deal was. <laughs> when you realised most of the brown crusts is just burnt sugar, it helps. <laughs> I know, but it doesn't look like sugar. <laughs> and it doesn't help that he goes, I turned my sink into a butthole! You know, it's like, you're not helping! <laughs> Fucking Family Guy ass voice. <laughs> you know what? I might show chat. I might show. <laughs> I think the intermission between Sonic 2 and Sonic 3, I will show the video. And then everyone could see what the hell I'm talking about. You put chocolate and curry once. How did it go? Was that- was it good? Because if it's good, I want to do it. They did a- they did that in Black Butler Chocolates in Curry. Oh, so it's a thing. Because I know chocolate chili's a thing. Chocolate curry. Behold, my chocolate curry! Ooh. It goes in Japanese curry. Alright, cool. I'm gonna do it. I want to taste... ...the yogurt. No! <laughs> you fucking little creature! I had such a good ring count just then, you little sugar. Hopefully I can get 50 before the boss. That would make me happy. I cannot! Okay, we gotta fight this guy legitimately, great. Oh, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> that was actually... That was, that was a big, that was a non-issue, that was alright. Eggman Law, you love... One of the memos in Sonic Frontiers where he talks about Maria. Uh, that all that love for someone who was gone when I was right there. That's like lore about Eggman's unseen family member. <laughs> that we've all forgotten. So Eggman was fully aware of Maria. And it sounds like he was jealous. 
Well, I mean, we know this, but the reason why probably no one wants to know about Eggman is because he's a he's a mechanical psychopath. It's like, I kind of don't want to know this one. You know, out of all the family members we have, I kind of don't want to talk to the one who's been trying to kill people since the very beginning. I don't get it, why does no one love me? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Good. You love stuff like that, gives you unne unnecessary... Give me all the non unnecessary character lore. Trying to play this game and read at the same time is next to impossible. Hello, Yakus. I can give you the recipe. Uh, woo. For the Persona 5 curry, if you want. I don't know. All those Persona 5 curries look like they would be super spice. This is mean Sonic. Hash two. The first one was Metal Sony. This is a mean <laughs> Sonic two. What the hell's happening, Jackie? The next mean Sonic was Shadow. I think. I mean Metal was in two, right? <laughs> uh, the Metal Sonic that everyone loves came from CD. Um, but both two and three have their own Metal Sonics. Uh, CD did come out before 3, yes. Ooh. Gimme... Yoshka. Dum 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 dum. We're gonna go to the secret level because we got nothing else better to do. Yosh! Hold on, I need to pause and reach chat. You can substitute. <laughs> you can substitute. Okay, yeah, sure then. Use mild curry powder and you enjoy it. Absolutely. Okay. Mecha is from Sonic 2. Metal. So CD, Mecha from 2, and I think the one in Sonic 3 is just called Mecha 2. I don't think it's got like, you know, I don't think it's got an amazing name. They even brought Mecha Sonic back f in s the comic, which was awesome. You have the official recipe? Okay. I mean, it's made public, so a lot of people have it. You're just rambling even though <laughs> it should be working. Oh, that's just a lot of people. It's almost like... Whoa! Hmm. Well... Ooh... But it <laughs> Great! Boom. Yeah, forcing yourself to work, even though, even though it's something you do want to do, forcing yourself to work 
is such a pain. Oof, there we go. I read a... I read a funny thing a few days ago. Well, I say funny. It wasn't out loud funny, but it made me think. Um, I forget what it's from. It might have been from Moomins, actually. Funny enough, but you can correct me if not. And uh, somebody asked what duty is. And the reply was... BULLSHIT! Fuck! <laughs> yeah, Moomin Papa turns to Moomin and screams bullshit in his face. <laughs> One of the best reads, actually. Really <laughs> fleshes out the characters. <laughs> Fuck, get hot. Hold on, I need to take a layer off. <laughs> Okay, let me try again. So, it might have been from Moomins, I'm not sure. It was definitely a comic strip, and one character says, uh, what is duty? And the other person says, um, doing something you don't want to do. And that made me think, I was like, you know what, you're right, that's... That is what duty is. Like, you don't want to do it, but you're doing it. That sounds exactly like a movement strip. It must have been that, then. Whoa! The bass line for this music sounds a lot like Spyro, I'm not gonna lie. Specifically, Spyro 1. Spyro 1, Beast Maker. Spyro 1, Beast Maker, Flight Stage. Time to beat Organ Man! <laughs> I'm too short. <laughs> Shit, okay, do this normally. It's a cool boss idea. I really do like this. Neat. All I gotta do is stay still and be pink. Just like real life. <laughs> pink ape. I do like that sound. Oh no, wait, it's just... <laughs> That's just the swamp fods. <laughs> it's just, whatever. Fuck's sake. Hee hee. Wee 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 wee. Back to the oil place. A sonic opinion question. <laughs> well, unfortunately, the only thing I can give you is my opinion. So, yeah, you could ask me, but it's not gonna... You're probably not gonna... <laughs> but yeah, sure, why not?
I wanted to know if there's any villains... Ooh. Hold on, these seahorses are giving me the eye. In the series you think that are particularly good or interesting besides Eggman. In Sonic... Let me think. I'll try and think of something that's not Eggman related, because I could say Metal Sonic, but that's like... You know, that's... I think. Let me, let me let me actually put some head juice into this. Hey hey Z, hey Zeruni, hey Zunoosh. Oh, flip. He's the main villain in Heroes, so I think it counts. I'd like to try and give something a bit more substantial than a machine that's programmed to be evil. Because of course Metal Sonic is going to be evil, he was meant to be evil, he was programmed that way. I know that's like a... It doesn't sound like a particularly good answer, but it's... That's how I feel about it. That's like... It's like how people say, what do you think of creepypastas about video games? It's like, well they're not very scary because... A video game is programmed to be that way. So, I know... It's like the scary thing happened because somebody inputted the ones and zeros. It's the same thing about Metal Sonic, like, he acts the way he does because... He was made to be that way. I know in Heroes he's rebelling. He's going against Eggman, but... Even that, even that is a deviation from his programming, his base program is still to be evil. So it's not like... It's not something I can sit there and be like, Oh, I can't imagine how that happens. Like, I can clearly, really imagine how that happened. It's... So, Metal Sonic, because he's cool, but I honestly don't think you can get much of a character arc out of the guy, because he's just sort of... Well, he's a machine that was made to be... evil. It'd be interesting if Metal Sonic turned good. Because that would be like, what? <laughs> you weren't made to do that? Metal Sonic being mysteriously good for a for a purpose that is later revealed, I think would be a fun story concept. Like he's being good, but he doesn't want anyone to see. And it's like, what the hell? And people are just people are uh, they're talking about it like, did you see that? Like it's kind of unbelievable. But let me think. Let me actually let me actually give you an answer instead of just rambling. You know, I really like Chaos. I like Chaos as a... a villain. Though... I also feel like... His... I also feel like his, um... His potential has been reached. Because... Chaos... was bad because Eggman... encouraged the behavior. And Chaos gets stronger the more Chaos Emeralds he has. And that's pretty much it. He doesn't have a... A complex story arc, he doesn't have a motivation to try and understand. Chaos was... To me, it seemed like he was used, he was more of a tool for the plot, rather than the game being about him. I like him as a concept, but I don't know if he counts as a villain. Because once you beat the crap out of Chaos, he turns good again. Like, immediately. Like, he gets reset. <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe... Maybe Chaos, but... I don't really know, does he count as a villain? Really? <laughs> I enjoy the rambling. Uh, 
Chaos is more of a force of nature. Mm. Scourge was a good villain, you think? You're about to say Chaos is like a force of nature. Yeah, Chaos doesn't count. I'm not going to say he counts. I like Chaos as a thing. Like, I think he's really fun. You'd have a lot of fun with Chaos if you know how to use him. But I don't think he's a villain. Uh, okay. Shadow is not a villain. He's an anti-hero. He's an edgy anti-hero. I can't say that. Oh dear. Oh no. Um, this isn't my answer, but there's a, there's a villain in the Sonic franchise that no one talks about, and that's the witch from Tails Adventure. <laughs> there's a Game Boy, there's a uh, there's a sorry, there's a there's a game, Sega Game Gear game called Tails Adventure, and it plays very strangely, but the villain in that game is straight up just a witch, <laughs> like a wicked witch. I just- that just popped into my head. <laughs> uh, I like- I like that. Oh, the witch is from Sky Patrol? Oh. Boo. I don't know why I booed. It's the same difference. The witch exists is the point I'm making. <laughs> Uh, Scourge. I like Scourge, but it wouldn't be my favourite. Or one that I would consider to be a good... I mean, Scourge, no, Scourge is fine, but it's not my pick. You know about the witch, but you don't know what she's called. What's the witch called? What question are you trying to answer? You zoned out. Pep asked me if... Oh no, Pep's, Pep's on it. There you go. <laughs> I don't need to say anything. I'll come up with an answer. You just gotta give me a minute. <laughs> The problem with the Sonic franchise is that Eggman is such a prolific villain. Like, he's the source of almost every plot of, like, contention. So having another villain take that role, or even take it away from Eggman, is gonna be tough. Because uh, even in some games and plots, a lot of the time Eggman takes control back at the end. It's like, I wasn't the villain for this, but now I am. Because of my schemes, my clever schemes, I'm so good at scheming, I love it. What happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's good. <laughs> Pendus is a good villain. Nah, that's not a that's not an answer. <laughs> Ooh. I'll come up with an answer sooner or later. It'll just pop into my head. Let me legitimately think about this. I'm going to go through all the games in my brain. And if I don't come up with an answer, then I'll think about the comics. There's Knack. Although I kind of... I do like Knack. He's not much of a villain. 
It was a villain for a uh, trip, for sure. It was like her personal demon in Superstars. Whoa, I didn't know you could go on top of these things. Holy man. I really didn't like any of the Zetties. <laughs> I thought they were shit. <laughs> Um... Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Holy moly! Knack, baby, we love Knack. I like Knack, but he's not my pick. Knack the Weasel! <laughs> uh, I like Karatoria because nobody knows who she is. Holy flip. That was intense. Eggman Nega. That was a weird choice. I'm Eggman from another universe. Cool. What do you do? I'm exactly the same, but I have a white mustache. Look. I'm a different color. Cool. Why does no one love me? Because you're too boring. <laughs> you're just a reskin. Oh, that is... FUCK THIS! God, Sonic 2 was made in a fucking hairdryer. I swear to God. Oh boy. No! <laughs> I really hate this game. Nah, I don't hate the game. But I do think it's a weak entry. D to be fair though, it's what you get when, this <laughs> when you get a game that's made in nine months. Sonic 2 is the best! Hmm. <laughs> sure. I'm glad you like it, buddy. <laughs> Pat's on the head. You know, I don't have an answer. I'm afraid I don't have an answer. I have been sitting here racking my brain of who would- who else could sit in my big bathtub of fun ideas of another Sonic villain. There has to be something, though. I'm not going with her, because I don't know who she is. <laughs>
Did I read your message? Yeah, I screamed about Fang. Fang the fuck. He's a good villain. <coughs> Fang the flipper. <coughs> She's the third boss in Sky Patrol. She's a rabbit who flies side the carrots. She shoots carrots at you. <laughs> I just remembered. Remember Snively? <laughs> Snively from the uh, the Saturday morning cartoon. <laughs> Snively's also in the comics, isn't he? They repurposed him. Wow! Mm. Yeah, he's the small guy in the green coat. Did you know f flippin' Winnie the Pooh voiced Eggman in the Saturday morning cartoon? That is not a joke. Scratching Grounder! I actually do like those two. I like the idea. Scra- here's the thing. Okay. I'm gonna go on a rant wreck because Cubot and Orbot suck, and I want I want Scratch and Grounder to be a great example on how to give Eggman bumbling sidekicks. Scratch and Grounder were really good bumbling sidekicks because they actually had purpose towards his goal. What about Coconut? Fuck him! <laughs> Screw Coconut. He kept messing up. Scratch and Grounder had purpose towards Eggman Eggman's goal, and even though. They fumbled, they tried, and at least they listened to Eggman. Cubot and Orbot are just like... I don't know, they just, they sarcastically have answers to things. It's like, what the hell is this? Why did you make something to torment yourself? I'm not a fan of coconut. It stinks. I'm a fan of the coconut of the fruit, though. Wait, is coconut a fruit? I think it is. Whoa. Shit! I was reading Tails Dies Again and I died! You think you had exactly one art issue of Archie growing up. You remember two things about and Knuckles kisses some pink character. And then he melts in with the pink character and becomes super pink. That isn't what happened. Okay. Coconut. I had no idea who she was. Uh, Snively took over Eggman Empire. Snivels. Snivets. I think Eggman is just isn't very good. At n not, at not accidentally giving personality to his creations. I think it's because Eggman is a psychopath. I don't know. That's like, well, duh, he's a villain. But I really mean that. I think because Eggman is a villain, he doesn't have a conscience. He can't imagine. He's incapable of imagining how anybody else could act besides praising him. Because he's insane, he's a villain. 
So I think that kind of works. He wouldn't create a robot with a good personality because he just doesn't know what a good personality is. Unless it's kissing his ass, he doesn't know what a good personality is. Okay, so... Okay, I tried doing this the legit way. Now we're, now we're gonna do it my way. I almost did a speedrun trick. What do you mean, almost? A favorite Eggman fuck up is Omega, not gonna lie. Eggman, uh, Omega's a great example of Eggman just not understanding. Just not getting personality. It just goes over his head, doesn't get it. Incapable. Lyric from Sonic Boom, the snake? Tails dies in the end. All you do is super glide off the speed shoes glide and you end up with the level with the speed run and then you speed run and you do the good. <coughs> I agree. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Um, what's that? What's that robot from the Sonic Advance games? The Sonic Advance Three and uh, Sonic Battle. What's that robot? Emergle? Is that the name? Jamal? I like that creature. The data corrupted. That's why we're doing it again. Because her OBS is a monster, but I think I fixed it. So it won't be happening again. Cream in her robot buddy. Meow meow. Dee nee nee. Nee nee. Well. I screwed it up. I'll try again next bout. Oh yeah, it will go without saying, but we will not be able to finish uh, Sonic 3 th today. It's just simply too big. The game is too big. There we go, I got it. Big? Big the cat! Big the cat's a good villain. <laughs> Big is not a villain. I don't think Big the Cat knows what a villain is. He's so innocent. No! Oh, never mind. It worked out. Woohoohoo! Victory! Nunkel 2! Knuckles glides. 
It's so weird. When you finish Sonic 2 with Sonic, you get like a cutscene of Tails getting into the plane. But you don't hear, it's just him flying. <laughs> Deo. You know, I I swear I had almost a villain in my head. You know what? I, I do. I do have another villain. I'm going to time it with the music. Black Doom. I actually really do like Black Doom. I think he's a really interesting villain. <laughs> you gave me an excuse to hype him up now. I like Black Doom. He's very mysterious. And he has a lot of... Law, in law implications for Shadow's story. And I think that doesn't get explored enough. You under you get You get enough of what Black Doom is and why he's important to the plot in the game. Like, you get given enough, you understand the basics, but there's still a lot you could go with him on that. You thought of Black Doom earlier, but I didn't think he counted because he's a shadow villain rather than Sonic. Yeah, true. But it's, I'm honestly, I just grabbed at anything. You've been thinking about this way too much, but Black Doom is basically, retroactively, the villain behind SA2. You're right. You're right. He is. I will die on this hill. Adding Black Doom to Shadow's backstory makes everything make sense. It does. He fuck. Who would argue that it doesn't? If you've if you've played through Shadow the Hedgehog and watched the story bits, I mean, actually watched it. You... Yeah, you... Of course it does. He... <laughs> Shadow was made from Black Doom's DNA. Where... Gerald Robotnik made it. Uh... I say it. Shadow. Made Shadow. And, uh... And presumably, he also had a hand in the prototype... Creature as well. Like the big lizard thing. Presumably. Is Vector X Vanilla a canon thing? It shouldn't be. <laughs> I don't like that. Find the computer room! I wonder... Going into headcanon territory now. Has a strict no romance rule. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'm tired of... I think romance works when you've got characters that are made to be romanced. But I think shoving characters together because... I don't know. is weird to me. And on that note, I'm going to end recording on Sonic 2. Oh my god!